My name's Toby Bishop and I'm a stalker. So, about stalking. There's three types of stalkers. Firstly, you have your nice and completely harmless ones. They smile, they're quiet and are always polite. Then, there's the creepy stalkers. Not very nice at all. Freaky. And lastly, there's the plain insane. Thankfully, these guys are quite rare. As for me, I'm one of the nice ones. I'm currently stalking Amy Peterson. Amy is a dream to stalk. She's active, social, and single. She's perfection. Today, Amy's at her friend's house. I followed her here earlier. I've been waiting outside for four hours. I'm not bored, because I love it. I love stalking. It's a way of life for me. But I do know, deep down, that I have to stop. Okay, this is a typical day for me. Wake up, exercise, teeth, breakfast. Leave house, go to Amy's. Amy gets up at 7.15 every morning and does her women things. Then, at exactly 8.32am, she leaves the house and I get my first glimpse of her. She sets off for work, and I follow. Amy gets to work just before 9am. I watch her go in, and then I'm free until her lunch hour. I tend to spend my downtime with my best mate Dinger. Dinger's not a stalker. Not really sure how to describe Dinger. He's just Dinger. Looking good tonight. What? I said you're looking good tonight. Oh. He's a really big fan of breasts. Having fun? I am. Everyone keeps staring at my tits. Yes! He actually does quite well with the opposite sex. So, your phone number? Any chance? Ah, Laura M. What does the M stand for? Mobile. Dinger, it's Toe. He's just never really mastered the appropriate way to behave in life. Uh, na, 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 na. Excuse me. Send me down, please. Uh, I was before you did. Uh, yeah, well, there's a bloke behind the bar and I'm an attractive girl, so clearly I'm going to get served first. It happens. Yeah, well, so does this. You wanker! Jake! I've got to stop. What? Stalking? Yeah. I don't really see the point in it. I mean, do you see many tits? No. Anyway, it's not a sexual thing. It's more an addiction. So pack it in then. I'm going to. When? Today. Right now. Yeah, right. Here. You know those TV programmes where they get a load of annoying chavs on? and then the bloke in the suit reads the DNA results of their pregnancies. Yeah. What I'd like to do a show like that in this town, except instead of the DNA results, you've got the dinger results. I have here the dinger results. 
And I can confirm that you are an absolute belly. Lendl is the king of stalkers. He's the master. Rumour has it he's stalked over 700 women in his stalking career, including models, politicians, movie stars, and even a member of the royal family. In recent years, Lendl was mellowed, and now he just stalks normal people. Lendl has turned stalking into an art form with his expert use of stealth, concealment, and ingenuity. His reputation is legend. Any stalking problems, talk to Lendl. I used to stalk a girl who had previously been stalked by Lendl. You are rubbish. What do you mean? I can always spot you. Your hiding places are shit, you stare too much, and you're always touching your balls. I don't touch my balls. Yes, you do, all the time. Lendl didn't rub his balls. Lendl had some respect. He always averted his eyes whenever I was getting ready, and he never, ever interfered in my social life. Do I interfere with your social life? Yes. My friends won't invite me anywhere in case I turn up with my creepy ball-touching stalker in tow. Listen, I don't mind having a stalker. It's kind of nice having someone around when I'm walking home in the dark. But you need to go back to Stork Academy or wherever it is you guys come from and learn some basic skills. Until then, I think it's best if you stop stalking me for a while. But I like stalking you. Find someone else, Toby. And leave them alone. You need to be more like Lendl. Lendl, Lendl, Lendl. Alright, son. How you doing? Yeah, not bad. Actually, I couldn't have a quick chat with you, could I? Yeah, I'll be right down. Who are you stalking at the moment? Amy Peterson. Yes, good one. She's on my stalk list. Mm. Obviously after you moved on. I just can't see that stalking is ever going to have a happy ending for me. Try not to think of it as stalking. I mean, we're not like those weirdos that want locking up. We're just normal nice guys who happen to stalk. That's how my wife describes it anyway. Wait, you're married? Yeah, got a little boy. Another on the way. <laughs> and your wife doesn't mind? I don't moan at her for watching too many soaps or having too many handbags. She knows I don't do any harm. Any of those creepy stalkers turn up? I soon see them off. Pack it in if you like, but how are you going to feel if anything ever happened to her and you weren't around? She's on the move. Gotta go. He's good. Well, that was Friday. Saturday, I couldn't help myself. I followed Amy all day long as usual. But today is Sunday, my day off. I never stalk on a Sunday. What would Jesus think? Oh, sorry mate. She had me up all last night. Massive shirt potatoes. Which one's this? Laura M. What does the M stand for? Mobile. Oh. Sorry about that. Amy. Jesus Christ. No. Even Sundays now. This is getting beyond a joke. I'm not. I never do on Sundays. I'm just here having a kickabout. Coincidence. Oh, of course. Listen, I've had enough. All right. You need to stop stalking me, okay? Next week, I go on holiday. Oh, yeah, I know. Well, I saw you go in there and book it, and, and you've been buying loads of new clothes and working out more at the gym and doing lots of topless sunbathing. Mm. You said you never saw any... Well, I see them, but I don't stare. Listen to yourself. Toby, isn't it? You need help. You're his friend, can't you talk to him? When I get back from my holiday, I don't want to see you following me again, ever. Cheer up!
So, here I am, going cold turkey. An ex-stalker, no longer stalking. Oh, she'll be leaving her house now and I'm not there to see it. Oh God, this is gonna be tough. At least Dinger said he was gonna come around and help me. What's that? Cold turkey? Well, why have you pulled that round? You said the best way to stop stalking was cold turkey. I literally don't know what to say. Oh, don't worry about it, mate. You want a phone? Yeah. The good thing with Patrick Swayze is that you get some common ground with him. Women like him because of dirty dancing and ghost, but men like him because of roadhouse and point break. Yeah, he was good. He went too young. Is he dead? Yeah. Oh, well, he might come back like he did in Ghost. Oh, look, I'm gonna go. Where are you going? To stalk? No, I'm an ex-stalker now, Dinger. Toby, stay strong. So, here I am, waiting for Amy to finish work. My giving up stalking lasted about eight hours. Failure. Amy works late on Mondays, so she's always the last to leave the office. Excuse me. and get out of here. Oh yeah? And what are you gonna do? I don't know. I do. <coughs> I have here the dinger results. And I can confirm you're dead. Talking. Oh, come here. Thanks again, Toby. Maybe when I get back from my holiday, we could go out for a drink or something. It wouldn't really work out, would it? I mean, I'm your stalker. You're probably right. I meant what I said, though. You must stop stalking. I know. Stay. So there you have it. Stalking saves the day. With a little help from Dinger, of course. So am I gonna stop stalking? Am I bollocks? I just need to be a bit more like Lendl. My name is Toby Bishop, and I am a stalker.